So, since my last video on the Night Lord weekly bossing, I've been getting so many questions about like everything to do with weekly bossing, like what character to play, how to fund them, um, when to stop, uh, just, just a bunch of stuff. And I figured I'll make a video on basically an entire guide on how to fund a weekly bosser, what you gotta do every day, and uh, what your equips should be looking like, how strong you'll be at certain points, when you should stop funding, and what goals to aim for, stuff like that. So yeah, this video will just be like a one stop for anything weekly boss related, and if I forget anything, just leave a comment down below. So full transparency, I copied this layout from a YouTuber named Danksier. I saw his gear video and he, he did it like in this layout and I thought it was pretty cool. So I copied him. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do in this segment is go over the equips you want on your weekly bossers. Um, I like to think of weekly bossers as like three different tiers. There's like a baby tier, uh, a good tier which is like the sweet spot, like this is like what you want to aim for. And then there's like an overkill cracked out tier that you don't really have to go this hard. You probably shouldn't have, you probably shouldn't go this hard on your weekly bossers because it's going to require a lot more funding and you're not going to get that much more money per week. But if you really like your class and you want to go the extra mile, I might as well uh, show you guys what I would do. So another thing is uh, keep in mind, this is all like my opinion based off of... Uh, you know, years of playing, and I have a lot of weekly bossers, and I have friends that have a lot of weekly bossers too. So this is just what I would do, and what I would recommend for people to do. So we'll start off with the baby tier. So with the baby tier, you basically are going to be looking at uh, CRA as like your first major equips you want to get. Oops. So, you know, uh, CRA, you just get it from killing Chaos Root Abyss bosses. We're using a Hayato's equips as an example here. We're not necessarily talking about a Hayato weekly bosser. We're just using the equips. So, you're probably going to be want to be, you're probably going to want to use a Fafnir weapon to start off as a baby weekly bosser since you get it's the easiest weapon to get and um the absolute weapon's gonna take a while to get from weeklies and also i'm gonna try to put my mind in the shoes of a new player who is just looking into weekly bossing or like they have a main already but they want another side main that they want a weekly boss with because um when you're end game and you're like in a big community stuff like that all of this stuff is a lot easier because your friends or your guildies, they can all just carry you very, very hard bosses and you'll get like arcane drops. You'll get absolute drops very easily. So I'll try to not factor that in and just go as if you don't have those resources with you. So CRA is pretty like, it's not too hard to get if you're like a, if you've been playing for a little while now, you got like, you got like your main, that's like decently strong. You could probably trade CRA with somebody and get your mule carried. Um, Golux, so the thing about weekly bossers that you got to keep in mind to like get one really set It's gonna take at least a couple months just because of Golux just because you need 700 coins For the ring superior ring and the superior pendant and that's what and you ideally want the four set Golux set effect on your weekly bossers because it just makes such a big difference in your damage but What you could get is a reinforced set as a placeholder until you slowly work on your superior because the set bonus from reinforced and superior isn't too big superior gives more ied and a few other stats but the reinforce is really good too it'll get you through all the bosses because as a baby weekly bosser like you, you don't need that much ID anyways so you're going to be looking at your reinforced to get on your baby bosser so let's say Let's say you're really unlucky and you don't get any superior drops, which does happen because honestly, superior drops are so rare. Like, I feel like you get one like once a month or something. 
So let's say you're, you know, you get your four set reinforced, which isn't too bad to get. You could probably trade with somebody. M most players can trade with somebody if you have like at least one character that, that is strong enough to do Helix, or at least Hard Lux, which is which is good enough to do as well. And uh, if you don't, then this process is just going to take a lot longer. Um, so for the remainder of the rings, something you want to look into as a baby bosser is event rings. There's always going to be a at least like one event ring in whatever like big event is going on. So like just now, there's like the pink bean event. And you could get one of the event rings. And event rings are really good. We'll use um, this one as an example. Because the base stats on them, although they don't have Star Force, they they have really high base stats. Like they'll have like 25 attack, 40 all stat, which is pretty good to like a. It's pretty equivalent to like a 16 to 17 star ring, which is a really good placeholder. And so, yeah, you're probably going to be using a, a event ring. Kana's treasure is another ring you're probably going to be using, because of um. Just you'll you'll most likely get one during Princess Snow, whether you're training it, uh, trading it or soloing it, and you'll probably get a Kana's treasure. Um, Silver Blossom Ring is another ring that you'll definitely get as you're doing Chaos Horn Tail. So this is like an example of what like a baby bosser's rings would be like. It'd be like probably one or maybe two event rings. Like if you want to replace your Silver Blossom Ring with another event ring because the event ring is better than it uh you'll likely have a cons treasure and then either reinforced or superior ring if you could afford it so the pocket slot um this stays the same pretty much just get your pink bean cup um the next thing you want is your second pendant so your second pendant is most likely going to be a Chaos Horntail pendant or a Dominator pendant, one of the two. So Chaos Horntail pendant is the one that most people are going to have. But you could also use Dominator pendant um, since you're most likely going to be doing Arcarium every day on your weekly buster as well. Because Dominator pendant is really good. It could go up to uh 22 stars but you'll stop at 17 so it's also it's also valid to get this work on getting this eventually but we'll use the horn tail pendant for this example zack face and i are your go-to as a baby bosser super um super easy to get you'll be holding on to these for a while um so for your other armor pieces you're gonna want to get apsos and to get these, you're just going to want to do the Scrapyard and Dark World Tree uh, weeklies every week. These do take a while. The more characters you do them on, the faster you'll get it. And you're probably going to have to get carried or Lomian or trade Lomian with somebody to get them. To get the boss, uh, the boss uh, pieces to buy them from in the shop. Um, heart and Android, you're probably not going to worry about this as a, as a, you know, baby weekly bosser. Sub weapon, pretty standard. You're just going to get the level 100 one and then slowly work up to the Princess No one. Emblem. Emblem is your emblem. You're always going to have this. Badge, you know, the best in slot. The one and only Ventus badge. Metal, your metal is pretty much just whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. You, um, you'll, you'll, you'll probably just get the root abyss metal at some point if you accept the quest. So, as a baby bosser, this is like something. This is like what you're gonna be kind of working with. You'll have like, you know, reinforced Golux, and you'll be working towards getting your superior Golux, but. If not, like you could just use like solid or whatever you get as drops and then make sure you're running Golux every single day and you're saving your coins. If you want to buy the reinforced, if you want to go for the reinforced set, buy the reinforced string and reinforced pendant because these two you can reuse later on anyways since you have two pendant slots and four ring slots. 
and um, you could just stay with the four set reinforced if you really want mesos right away and want to start bossing. You could just ch chill with the reinforced until you get the superior set. Me personally, I wait until I get the 700 and I just buy the superior ring and superior pendant right away. I don't bother with reinforce set, but for most players, this is this is what your equips are gonna sort of look like. Un um, absolute weapon as well. If you really want to push during uh, you know the baby phase that I like to call it, you can get an absolute weapon. It's a it's a good upgrade from CRA, and you could transfer the stars from your CRA to your abso. So transitioning to the good weekly bosser this is like the sweet spot where everybody wants to aim for on their weekly bossers this is where you're going to be getting the most out of your meso spent on your character and you could do a lot of bosses very quickly and more bosses than what the baby bossers can do so right away on your on your good weekly bosser you want to have the superior set very important to have um, you'll be doing, you'll, you've probably been doing, you know, you've probably been doing Helix for a while now. Maybe it's been a couple months. Uh, chances are you have your superior set by now. And remember just a bit ago, I said you could re reuse your, uh, reinforced. So if you had a reinforced pendant, you could reuse it here as your secondary pendant. And, uh, reinforced ring, you will reuse it since it's a best in slot ring. So let's say you didn't opt for the reinforced pendant and you got like a dominator pendant. You could also use this as your second pendant. So these two are interchangeable during the good phase and both, both are completely valid. You'll get about the same amount of stats from them. Um, so your third ring will definitely be a Kana's treasure for sure. You'll get one from Princess Note at some point and it's a starable ring up to 17. And your last ring could be, it'll probably be a solid ring, most likely. So you could get a Meister ring, but it takes way too long to get Meister accessory crafting. You don't want to use a Silver Blossom ring because it only goes up to 10 stars. And then Slime ring, unless you're getting carried and someone gives you the drop, you're not going to get one. So these are the rings you're probably going to be working with. So if you've noticed, uh, we're not using any event rings anymore. So when you're at this good stage of weekly bossing, you don't want to use your event rings because first of all, event rings don't give any raid power. And you also want raid power from your weekly bossers ideally. And when you're at this good stage, everything's going to be like over 16 stars, 16 and then mostly 17 stars. And then once you're at that point, these rings just have better sets than event rings. Unless you're a Kana and Kana scales off HP and event rings give a ton of HP as an example or a Demon Avenger. Um, so your weapon is going to be an Apso weapon for sure. Uh, get it from either getting carried H Lomian or doing your weeklies. Save up your, for your Apso weapon. Um, CRA still the same thing. CRA is still your best in slot. Get your hat. Get your pants and get your top. So for your face and eye, you're going to want to upgrade to Sweetwater face first. You're going to want to upgrade to the Sweetwater tattoo. And then you could go Sweetwater monocle, but something, but a better option would be to get the black bean mark. Oh, I didn't have the black bean mark, but now I do. Oh, okay. So, yeah, as I was saying, a better option would be to get the black bean mark because it's much easier to get from Chaos Pink Bean. It goes over 15 stars, so you could get it to 17. And um, it gets better flames than a monocle uh, since it's a KMS item. Uh, the only thing about the black bean mark is since it's not a level 160 item or higher, the potentials are uh, the highest line is 12 instead of 13, like a monocle. But min-maxing that that much doesn't really matter on a weekly bosser. Um, you could get the monocle if you really want 
to truly get like the best item because eventually you might get a path mark from doing CPAP weekly and if you want to transpose it the Monaco would be better but chances are that's not going to happen for most people um, the Apso set is the same shoes uh, gloves cape and shoulder sub weapon you're gonna have your princess no secondary at this point you get it only takes a, uh, a few weeks to get uh, badge of course the best in slot your medal is whatever and um, at this point you could be looking into getting a heart whether it's a fairy heart from an event that costs usually two bill it usually comes like every big event there's one out right now as of making this video in the pink bean shop if you want to get it it's a it's a really good boost for your weekly bossers so that's pretty much it for the good section this is what everybody should be aiming for on your weekly bossers like this set you, you have your four set Golux, you have your three set CRA, your five set Apso, and um, the best in slot for the other for the other slots. And at this point, like you'll be making a lot of money. You'll be very strong with all these equips with the right amount of stars and potentials too, and flames. Um, so the next stage, most people won't be able to get to this level on a weekly bosser. And I also wouldn't really recommend it as well because it's going to require a lot more time and a lot more funding. But like I said before, if you really do enjoy your class and you want to keep funding it more and more and you don't really mind how long it'll take, you could go for this like cracked stage and you'll uh, you'll be a lot stronger. So Golux, same thing. Always Golux. The set is insane. And there's a reason why it's best in slot. It just gives a ton of stats. Golux, of course. So your second pendant. Oh, I got to sneeze. Okay, as I was uh, as I was saying, your second pendant will probably be another superior pendant at this point. Which is fine. You could still use the reinforced pendant, which is okay too, or the dom pendant, but... You know, we're going for, like, sweaty stats here, so we'll go the Sweetwater Pendant. We're, we'll go the Superior Pendant, not the Sweetwater Pendant, because Sweetwater Pendant just takes way too long, and it's honestly not worth. Um, on a weekly boss, we're not that sweaty. You'll get your Reinforced String, which is uh, also best in slot. You could get a my String, but chances are you still won't do that on a cracked, uh, cracked character. So at this point, you might get a slime ring because when you're like at the cracked level, uh, you'll be able to solo uh, normal slime. And if you get a slime ring, you could use that. If not, just keep using your solid ring weapon. So this is when the arcane start coming into the picture. So arcane weapon actually gives so much more attack and so much more damage than an Absa weapon. And I would go so far to even say that it's worth getting an arcane weapon even at the good stage if you if you are able to if you're not able to it's completely fine using absolutely you'll still be able to do all the bosses but an arcane weapon just gives you so much damage just because of its raw stats the higher flame score and um yeah it just it just gives so much damage so definitely invest in an arcane weapon if you are able to whether it's uh droplets from the shop or you have friends that are super strong that can carry you um so cra definitely go cra uh top and bottom so at this point um when it comes to your shoulder glove cape shoes and your hat Let's say you are someone who it, so let's say you are someone who is able to get uh, lucid carries or will carries, and you potentially get drops, right? Let's say you get like a shoe drop from lucid or like a shoulder from will. Um, you could straight up use them, and it'll be fine. Since um, in an update we're getting pretty soon, uh, the set effects are going to be a lot less harsh transitioning from 
Apso to Arcane. What I mean by that is currently in MapleStory, as I'm making this video, you pretty much either go 5 set Apso or you go 5 set Arcane. Like, you don't mix and match because the set effect is so much better at 5 set than it is at like 3 set. So you either want to go all in or or all out. But since, you know, this, this guide will be future proof, uh, it doesn't really matter what you get for these items as long as you... As long as you fill them in with either Apso or Arcanes. But if you're somebody who like can't get can't get those bosses, you don't have a lot of droplets, it's completely fine to use your Apsos, but definitely get the Arcane weapon, it's worth it. And uh, your hat can either be an Apso hat or a CRA hat. If you're going like 3-3, I would recommend going Apso hat, but if you only have like one drop, I would just recommend staying with the CRA hat. Face and I, um, you could use the black bean mark still, but let's just say if in this case you get a pop mark and then you use your monocle. Badge, only the best. We only go for the best for the badge. Nothing less than the best. Um, sub weapon, obviously princess no. And then your heart, either fairy heart or one droid heart if the event comes back. So let's just say one droid heart. if like the event came back or something so at this cracked stage you'll have quite a bit more damage than the the good stage and you'll be able to do some more bosses and uh yeah you're looking at a really solid second main at this point and you could start pushing even past your own main if you really like the class and uh yeah definitely the good stage this is the sweet spot and this is what everybody should be aiming for the good stage you start off with the baby and the baby will get you it'll get you in the door you'll do most of the bosses and you keep saving and slowly work to, towards uh getting to the good good stage so the next part we'll be talking about the meso income and what you should expect so currently how crystals work is reboot gets a 3x multiplier on the boss crystal so like when you kill a boss, you get a boss crystal, right? And you sell it at the free market to get mesos. So reboot gets 3x the amount that reg server does. So at, that's as of making this video. But in in the summer of uh, 2022, they said they're going to increase it to the 5x system, which will make so much more money. And weekly bosses will gain so much more money. And... Um, I made this chart to help you visualize how much money you're going to actually be getting and what bosses you'll be able to do based on different uh, stages in your uh, weekly bossing funding. So let's say you're a baby weekly boss, right? Like you're over here in the Eclipse. Chances are you're going to stop at Chaos Vellum and you won't be able to do the other bosses. You probably could. It's just going to take a very, very long time. And it's just not efficient in terms of uh your time so i just want to bother so if you were at the baby stage right now and you do up to vellum you'll get almost 500 mil 478 mil per week which isn't too bad you know and then once the 5x hits you'll get almost 800 mil a week which is actually pretty good per character 800 mil a week and it doesn't take very much funding to get to this baby stage either um Let's say you got to the good stage and you're pretty strong at this point. You're a solid weekly bosser. You're going to be able to do Happy Lattice now, a catchy, uh, normal Lomian without much difficulty. And if you were to do it right now, you'd get almost 850 mil a week. And then once 5x hits, you'll get 1.4 bill a week just from doing these bosses, which is actually a lot of money per character. Like that adds up. This isn't including any potential farming or training or, or anything that you do. And then if you were to push to the cracked stage, which again, I don't recommend, but if you were to do it, um, you'd be looking to, you'd be looking at easy lucid and normal guardian slime as bosses that you could take down pretty easily. And you'll get about 1 billion mesos, uh, currently, which if you saw my previous video with my Nylord, that's. How much I got about this much and when the 5x update hits you'll get 1.75 bill mesos which is actually so good 
And if you round up, it's like two bill. So you'll almost be getting like two bill per week per character. But again, it takes a lot of funding to get to this point in the first place. So yeah, the good stage is definitely the sweet spot and that's what you want to aim for. So now that you understand what the equips, what equips to get, I'll show you examples of each one in game because I have characters at each stage and you know, I'm constantly working on these weeklies. So I'll see you guys in game and I'll show you what it's like and what to aim for in terms of potentials, flames and stars. All right, so we'll start off with an example of what a baby weekly bosser looks like. So in this example, I'll be on my arc and I'll start off by showing you my stats and my um, my equips. So on a baby we on a baby weekly bosser, you're looking to be around around 220 is a pretty good spot to start weekly bossing on a baby weekly bosser because you'll have some more arcane force, you'll have some more node slots to use your to get more skills, and um, you'll be a decent level above the monsters, so you'll do bonus damage. And yeah, so as you can see, like I have the superior ring and reinforced ring. Um, superior Golic set, I have the full force set. Let's just say uh, I've, I've been doing uh, Golux for a long time on this character, but chances are you you know you might you might be using the reinforced set instead but i was fortunate enough to get the drops that i needed and got uh carried every day until i had um the superior golic set so you'll be looking at around 15k stat g give or take you know a little bit when you're at like the baby stage and you'll be able to do those bosses i listed out previously with around this much damage so um your inner ability all you really want on a weekly bosser is just the first line legendary so for arc uh i've seen some arcs get legendary cooldown skip i've seen some get boss damage so i just got whatever i got first and i got some cooldown skip and i just kept it don't really want to invest too much into that um but yeah for the equips basically you're gonna want to aim for 15 stars on everything um you could start off with 12, but 12 really isn't like enough to do that much damage. Um, 15 stars, uh, definitely wait for a 30% star force event if you can, or a no boom room, which is like super good for weekly bosses. You can get everything to 15, super, super cheap in an event's uh, no boom room. Yeah, so like this is 12, which is okay because it'll get replaced eventually. But yeah, all like the important equips, like you want to aim for 15 and um, the reason you want to aim for 15 is going above 15 is really expensive and you want to wait for a 5, 10, 15 event so you can get free 16 stars on everything and then it's just one more to 17 and you'll be done with all your stars. So for potentials, all you really need is one line of potential on all your items. Um, chances are you'll probably get two lines like before you even get one line for some equips because that's just how it is sometimes you get lucky and then if you're really lucky you'll get three lines sometimes before you even get one line but all you need is one line so like this is like you know all 21 decks obviously i don't use decks but it has one line of strength which is fine and event ring uh event rings are really good for baby bossers one line of strength um reinforced golux ring just happened to get three line on unique which is good enough for now uh, I'll tear it up to legendary when I transition this from a baby to a good weekly bosser. You know, another event ring, one line, um, one line on this, one line on this. Uh, we'll talk about WC later. One line of strength on this, one line here, one line here, uh, two lines here. You know, you'll get a two line eventually at some point. Two lines here on unique. Uh, I hit a three line on this, got super lucky. Um, one line here, one line here, one, two, uh, you know, like kind of two lines here. Uh, gloves for gloves, you just want to aim for one line of crit damage, and that's all you want on a on a baby. You just want your one line of crit, which is good enough. Uh, one line here, and yeah. So for the WSE, ideally you want attack percent. 
you want at least one line of attack on all of your WSE. But ideally, you want to aim for a line of attack with something else, whether it's boss or IED. So, like, this is attack and boss, this is attack and boss, and this is attack and IED. So, it's not too expensive to roll attack with something. And by something, I mean either ID or boss. So, yeah, you should aim for that. You can start off with one line of attack, which is fine, and you'll get the job done. But it's just really good to get a line of boss or ID as well. And then Arcane Force. Um... Since you're 220, you're not gonna have, you know, you're not gonna have your that many symbols. You just wanna, you know, do your dailies as much as you can. Never really skip your dailies. Dailies are super important on weekly bosses. They give you so much free damage, and they're really easy to do. Just gotta be consistent. You'll get a, you'll get a, um, you'll get a ton of arcane force over time. So in terms of flames on a baby bosser, you just want like any amount of strength. Uh, the most important flame is your weapon. You want tier 6 attack on your weapon. This is not tier 6, but, you know, it's fine because, um, in my case, I was fortunate enough to get a lucid carry, and I got a knuckle drop, and I rolled this crazy flame. So, yeah, I'm looking to transition to that at some point. Um, also a glove drop. Um, yeah, so I'll swap to those at some point, but, um, yeah, all you really want is just some amount of your of your main stat so like you know this has 24 and 3 which is pretty good uh 54 and 3 and 4 is pretty good you don't want to min max your flames at all you just want some amount of strength in this case because it's an arc and um it'll be good enough so yeah so i'll give you guys so we'll do c -Val real quick to give you guys an idea of what a baby bosser can do oh, I can't move from this map oops um, oh yeah so in terms of my nodes um, everything's maxed so this won't be the case for most people uh, yeah, so for nodes, um, max nodes won't be the case for most people, but just try your best. Um, plenty of events give a ton of nodes now, uh, even like dailies, like from VJ or, or whatever, like you'll get nodes doing that and eventually they'll get max. Just try and aim for, you know, try to find your perfect trios and, um, yeah, depending on the class, you're going to want to max your skill nodes. This one isn't max, I should probably max that, but yeah. Um, Legion helps a ton for weekly bosters. Like, ideally, you'd want a Legion page that fits them. So, for me, like, um, you want to, when you're, you're doing your weekly bosters, you want to put it into crit damage and boss damage uh, to start off with. And then, eventually, you want to um, transition into IED and crit rate as you get more and more legion crit rate is super super important on um weekly bossers because a lot of classes need like 20 percent crit rate inner or link skills or whatever so crit rate helps a ton to help max out your crit rate um in terms of familiars for a baby bosser um you're not gonna have like any familiars like don't don't even worry about familiars at all so yeah we'll enter seville and you'll get a decent idea of how a baby weekly bosser is how strong it is this is more of a actually this is more of like a higher end baby weekly bosser but yeah you'll you get you'll get the idea hopefully i don't die Okay, not bad. So yeah, when you're in a baby weekly buster, you're not going to be one shotting Seville. You're going to actually have to do the fight for a little bit, which is okay. All 
All right, where is he? Okay. Fireballs. Okay. Nice. Yeah, so Seaval, like these bosses are very doable as a uh, a baby weekly bosser. Like granted, this was my like burst on arc. So like this is like a moment where I'm like higher on the on my DPS cuz I'm using like all my skills, but yeah. The other bosses aren't as hard, so it won't take as long either. But yeah, so this is this is like a pretty decent example of what like a baby weekly bosser is. You're 220, you're around 220, you have like okay equips. Uh obviously like you know, everything's legendary, 15 stars, and uh you could do up to Seaval pretty easily. H mag, all that stuff, uh all pretty easy. So next we'll be showing what a good weekly bosser is like. So this is uh, an example of what a good weekly bosser would look like about. And this is my Adele. So the first thing you're going to notice that's different from my arc in the previous segment is, you know, level 235. This is where you're going to want to be at on a good weekly bosser. You're going to be at least 235. You'll have all your arcane symbols unlocked. You'll have a lot more node slots you can work with. So you'll be a lot stronger in that sense. Um, you'll be higher level than a lot of bosses, so you'll do a lot of damage. And, uh, you know, hyper stats and all that stuff will be more. So in terms of stats, you're going you're gonna to want to be over 20k when you're at this point. Um, you know, 20 to 25k is like, which is like the sweet spot. 25k is like, that's like the goal pretty much on a weekly bosser. Um, inner, you just want your first line. I got extremely lucky in my Adele, managed to roll uh current rate and cooldown skip which is like this is like a perfect down inner um yeah uh but all you really need is the first line um in terms of familiars you're probably gonna have like an ied familiar and if you're lucky a boss familiar at this point as you're training um you'll be doing familiars so like i have one ied familiar which is fine and in terms of equips this is when you're gonna want to transition to um two line everything in terms of potential so we'll go over potentials first and um so on your accessories if you happen to roll like a line of drop or a line of meso you should consider keeping that keeping 100 meso and at least 80 drop is pretty good because as you're training these characters 250 you can actually make a lot of money like as as you're it well let me let me take that back. So if you plan to train a weekly bosser past 235 and get it to 250, you should consider um, rolling for drop and your main stat and meso and your main stat so that as you're training, you can make a lot of money in the process. So since I do plan to get this character to 250, I have drop gear as well. And drop gear is also really good for weekly bossing because you'll get a lot more cubes and flames. Um, but yeah, so like drop with strength. This is two line strength. Um, drop with strength. Two line strength. Uh, two line strength. Drop with strength. Um, two line. Two line. Two line. Two line. Two line. Drop with strength. Uh, two line. Drop with strength. Two line. Uh, crit damage. Yep, you want to keep the crit damage. Ideally, at this point, you want crit damage with your main stat, which is good. This is still a work in progress. Um, you know, you have a heart. Heart um, get, is a very easy thing to two line. I managed to get a, you know, okay pot for unique. I got super lucky with this double prime legendary. Um, yeah, and for WSC, you want two lines of attack on everything. So this is just two line attack, two line attack, and two line attack. Ideally, you're gonna wanna try and push for. Um, you don't have to, but it does make a difference if you could get like two line attack with boss or two line attack with IED. But two line attack on a toad is more than enough. Um, so you'll notice I still have a couple of event rings. This, uh, like I said, this is still a work in progress. Good weekly bosser, but it's still um, it's still really good. The event rings are still really good, but eventually you do want to replace them with uh, starable rings. Uh, in terms of set effects, like. You know, I've upgraded to the superior Golic set effect. I have um, the five set app. So 
and if you're really fortunate you'll be able to have an arcane weapon on your good weekly bosser absolute weapon is still completely fine to use like this one has two line with id which is still really good but if you're lucky enough to get an arcane drop or if you have the funds to get an arcane weapon definitely invest in an arcane weapon on your weekly boss here uh obviously like you know if you need the droplets for your main keep it on your main but it's definitely a worth investment to get an arcane weapon on your weekly bossers for sure um yeah second pendant is a dom pendant which is really good and i've upgraded to both sweet waters and yeah in terms of stars everything is either 16 or 17 stars so you know i'm still trying to get everything to 17 but yeah ideally you want everything 16 and 17 stars but you want everything 17 but 16 is doable as well since it's super easy to get um during a 5 10 15 event in terms of flames you will you just want any amount of strength pretty much same as last tier the baby tier uh, you don't want to go to him. Weapon, you want to make sure you have at least tier 6 weapon attack. Or magic attack if you're a mage. And um, yeah, the rest of your flames are just pretty much any amount of your stat is good. This is I got lucky with this flame. Um, yeah, in terms of nodes, at this point you're going to want to be looking towards like maxing your skills. If you can. So yeah, like on my Adele, everything's maxed. Oops, pop the Arachnid Reflection. Oh, speaking of Arachnid Reflection, yeah, you get that at 235. Another another good reason to level. And, um, yeah, so we'll do Seaval on my Adele, and we'll show a pretty good uh, difference between good and uh, baby. Oh, in terms of Arcane Force, uh, you're going to want to have at least 540 Arcane Force on a good weekly bosser. 540 because you'll get the 1.5x damage when you're training in Arcana. And that's where most classes will train if you want to go above uh, 235. So I, ideally you want to keep doing your uh, dailies. But if you really, really want to stop, you could stop at 540. And uh, it'll be good enough for most bosses. So Vellum... So at this point on a good weekly boss here, you're going to be pretty much like one binding or one bursting Seaval, which is um, to be expected uh, at these equips. So that just shows you like the difference just from funding a little bit more, getting the right set effects. If you get an arcane weapon, it's a big difference. And uh, yeah, even without my burst there, like you could, you could still either one burst it or uh, not, not one burst. Uh, one bind it or kill it just really quickly so this is like pretty much where i'd say like a good weekly bosser would be at this is like what people want to aim for just two line on your stuff 17 star everything eventually get all four of your rings that are um starwell rings so i'd replace this one and this one with um you know like a reinforced string and like a solid ring um and yeah so the next example would be a cracked weekly bosser. This is like on the high end where you could do pretty much all of the weekly bosses that are feasible and you'll be funding a lot harder. So this is my Evan and this is what I would consider to be an overkill weekly bosser or like a cracked out weekly bosser. This is uh, a character that is funded usually past the point of um you know getting your money getting your like return on investment because obviously like when you're funding weekly bosses you need some amount of mesos to go into them but once you're going for like that cracked stage um it's more about like you like playing the class and you want to get it really strong than trying to optimize how much money you're going to get back from this because i've i've put well over like 
well over like 50 bell 60 bell on this character and you know just it'll take over over a year to get my money back from doing weeklies on it which is which is okay but because i like the class but um yeah so we'll start with the stats so when you're at that cracked out stage for weekly bossing you want to be over 30k stat like for sure and um you know your inner will have your first line that's good and yeah in terms of familiars you're probably gonna have at least like one or two good familiars so, like i have a boss and an id which is super good for a weekly bosser um in terms of equips so at this point this is when you're gonna want to have everything at least 17 stars for sure and um arcane weapon for sure um Arcane five set, you don't have to have it, but if you if you are able to afford if you're able to afford it, go for it. Um and if you get drops and you only need like, I don't know, one one more piece or something, go for it. Um Arcane Force, you wanna keep doing Arcane Force. I would I wouldn't stop until like nine sixty, which is a which is a pretty good point. And um for like a weekly boss share that's cracked out, because nine sixty will give you uh, bonus damage in Asphera, and you'll have a little bit of bonus damage in Moonbridge, I believe, as well. If you want to train, it's 250. So another thing you'll notice is I'm not 235, I'm almost 250, which is the goal of a Cracked Out Weekly Buster. You want to push it more to 250. You don't have to get this strong tit 250, but you it, it's pretty good to get stronger. Um, so... Uh, you might have noticed like I'm still using an event ring. So why am I still using an event ring when I keep saying you need to use four um, good rings? Well, I was using this ring and I was as I was trying to three line it um, You know, I rolled hybrid. So whatever. I'll just keep that for when I'm training meso drop and um, Yeah, I use this ring this event ring for now because it has two line so in terms of equips um since I'm I've been training this character to 250, I have Meso and Drop Gear on it. So Reinforced String has Drop with 2 line, Meso with 2 line, and um, Meso with 2 line on the solid. This is just regular 2 line for damage, and I'll swap to this when I'm training. Um, you know, Drop 2 line, this is 3 line, uh, 3 line, 2 line, Meso 2 line, uh, 2 line, 2 line, 2 line. 3 line uh, gloves you're going to want crit damage with with stat you're going to want at least one line of stat with your crit damage when you're reaching this point uh, 3 line 3 line uh, 3 line and 2 line so the potentials when you're aiming this high you're going to want to start going for 3 line potentials on items that uh, you don't plan to push past 17 if you don't plan to push past 17 at all and um, You want three lines just go for three lines on things that that can be pushed past 17 because technically like uh, As an example like this belt is three line But if I really wanted more damage, I could have probably went for like 19 stars instead uh, and kept the two line on it and it would be better like a 19 star 2 line would give me more damage than this being 3 line at 17 stars. So, yeah. So, going for 3 lines probably wasn't the smartest thing. But, I don't plan to star any further than this. And, I got the 3 lines uh, for not that much, not, not that many mesas anyway. So, it's whatever. But, the most important thing on a cracked out boss mule is the WSC. So, this is when you're going to want to start looking for 3 lines of, of something good on your WSC. So ideally you want two line magic with like boss or ID, but you know, if you just hit like two line boss with magic or like two line boss magic or like two line and ID, um, you could just keep it. Like you just don't want any wasted lines on your WSC. You don't want anything that's not magic attack, not ID or not boss. All you really need is one line of ID though. So yeah, the rest you just want magic attack or boss. And um, yeah, that, uh that's about it yeah everything's 17 you could start pushing for over like 18 or 19 stars on everything which is not that bad it's not that hard to get but yeah 
uh, in terms of flames, you want to start going for like decent flames, like not just not just any amount. So like 32 is like okay, like 12 and 2 is okay. You want at least tier 6 magic, of course. Um, you know, like 77 5, 79 6, 80 and 4. Uh, these are just like okay flames. They're not like the best thing in the world, but they're they're better than just anything. So, yeah. So we'll show like how strong a cracked out blaster is in terms of uh, Seavel. Um, oh yeah, for nodes, of course, at this point, you're going to want to have um, everything maxed out. So, yep. Um, also, keep in mind, like, all the damage is, it's not, like, exactly what you're going to get. Like, I have max nodes, I have legion, I have links and all that stuff. But this is just, like, a rough idea. Like, just to show the difference between these three stages of uh, weekly bossing. Weekly bosser meals. Also, the classes aren't all the same, so the damage output is different regardless. But, yeah. Yep, so yeah, you just one shot uh, C valve super quick. It wasn't even a burst, that was a uh, short cooldown skill. This is my burst, didn't even need to use it. So, yeah, when you're at this stage, all these, all these bosses are a joke. And the uh, bosses that really only take time are Easy Lucid and uh, Guardian Slime. Everything else is really quick. You'll kill Lomin in a couple minutes, so yeah. So now that you have a good idea of what you know, like a baby bosser looks like, a good bosser looks like, and a cracked out bosser, we'll go into the steps of what to do when you're at level 200 and moving forward. Alright, so basically as a weekly bosser, uh, there's a bunch of things you're going to have to do every day, and I'm going to try my best to step by step show you and tell you what the... The progression is like as a weekly bosser so keep in mind like this isn't your main so like you don't like you should do it every day but like you don't have to like at the end of the day it's a side project it's not like you know very important and you just do it whenever you can so let's say i was level 200 so i'm using my other hayato my second hayato as an example because it's level 220 um it still needs a bunch of equips and stuff and um yeah, it's really weak, like 5k stat. Um, so let's say I just hit 200, right? Um, what's the first thing you want to do? So when you're at 200, you want to go do your pre-quest for Vanishing Journey. So you do whatever it takes to get to VJ. You know, you talk to uh, Grendel. Grendel? Is it Grendel? Um, let me check. Not Grendel. I'm so stupid. Gr Grendel's in, in Alinea. Uh, you talk to Memory Keeper and, um, you know, do whatever you got to do to get to VJ. So, uh, you're at VJ, right? Um, VJ? Where's VJ? So, you're at VJ and, um, you know, you finish your, you finish your pre-quest. You get the uh, arcane symbol, <coughs> and you, right away you want to start doing your dailies. If you need help, maybe somebody will be nice enough to help you with dailies. Um, that's what you're going to want to be doing. And then at level 200, you want to start working on your other uh, prequests too. So you want to get all the prequests out of the way. So like Magnus, you want to do your prequest for him. Um, Papulatus, you want to do your prequest. I didn't do it yet. Um, Pink Bean, you want to do your pre's. Um, sickness is good. You want to do your pre's for it. Um, Golux, you want to do your pre's. Princess No, you want to do your pre's. And uh, Catchy has no pre's. But yeah, so you want to get all of those boss prequests out of the way right away when you're at 200. So you don't know, you don't want to do them later. And so, you, so if you're training with anybody or if somebody's nice enough to carry you, you have all the prequests done. You could just get carried. Um, Oh, Chaos Root Abyss as well. Very important to do Root Abyss five times and you'll unlock your CRA 
And yeah, so the next thing you want to work on is see if you could get legendary uh, inner ability. Um, it's very easy to get with circulators or circulators from the from the event shop. Just get your legendary inner ability, get whatever good first line there is, because you'll probably have some honor EXP from training to 200, and you'll probably hit at least something. So like this, this is a pretty good one for Hayato as you're training. Number of enemies hit multi-target skill plus one, because since Hayato has a lot of multi-target skills, you know, this just increases your mobbing, and uh, it's not too bad for training. Um, next thing you're going to want to start working on as a list is uh, Commercy dailies. You want to go do your Commercy prequest and start doing your dailies so you can get your tattoo when you're transitioning to a good baby bosser. Not a good baby bosser, just a good weekly bosser. Uh, you want to do your Arcane Force dailies, of course. As you're leveling, you want to do your Arcane Force dailies. Um... Scrapyard Dark World Tree, you want to always do that every week on as many characters as you can so you can start working on getting your Apsos. Um, yeah, you want to start working on getting your Apsos. Um, Golux, Golux is, is one of the most important dailies to do. You want to do Golux every single day so you can start getting your superior gear or reinforced gear, whatever you need. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, start doing your Golux, you want to do Arcarium every day, go do your Arcarium prequest. And uh, that way you'll start working on getting Dominator Pendants. And whether you're using the Dominator Pendant or not as your second Pendant, it's still really good to have in case you don't want to star your Superior Pendant directly. You could start a Dom Pendant and transfer it. Or you could just use it as your Secondary Pendant when you transition to a good Weekly Bosser. Um... And then once you have those dailies down, you start doing them every day, um, and you're getting used to it, you want to start leveling up. So, uh, you want to start leveling up, you want to hit 205. As soon as you hit 205, you want to make it to uh, Reverse City. And you actually want to do Reverse City and Yum Yum Island prequests, like you don't want to skip them. Because the Arcane Force is super, super important when you're starting off on a weekly bosser. You want to get as much Arcane Force as you can. As quickly as you can and doing these uh, storylines get you way more arcane force uh, arcane symbols from your dailies so you want to do your reverse city at 205 uh, you want to you want to keep training get to 210 get to choo choo do your do your dailies here as well um, 215 get to yum yum you'll get more arcane force and then once you're 220 this is another checkpoint I like to say so the 200 checkpoint we just passed it. We've been doing our dailies. We've been training for a while. We're 220 now. And now we're at the 220 checkpoint. So. We're in latch now. And just to give you guys an example of like what I mean by checkpoints. Is. Um, is like this. So like. These two are like my cracked out weekly bosses. They're above 235. They're almost at 250. Uh, you know, I have these two at 235. They're at like a they're at the 235 checkpoint because they're both good weekly bossers. And then the um, the 220s, like this is 220, this is 220, 220, 220, 220, 220. These are all just like at that 220 checkpoint, waiting to do, waiting because of dailies and waiting to get all their gear finished, and all that stuff. Then I start pushing to the next point. So I'm at 220 now. Right at my high though. So at this point, you're gonna want to start looking into um, uh, do, obviously like doing more dailies and um, see if people can carry you lucid potentially. Obviously, like not a lot of people will have the opportunity, but if you do have the opportunity, try to get H lucid every single week. Uh, if you're strong enough on your main to trade it, or if you have friends that could just take you. Um, yeah, try to get H Lucid because if you get an Arcane Weapon drop, that's an insane amount of damage boost as you're training to 235. So 220 is a really good spot where you could just chill out, keep doing your dailies since you have three symbols now. Um, you'll start racking up a lot of Arcane Force pretty quickly. And um, yeah, just keep chilling out until you have at least like baby tier equips until you're like a baby tier weekly bosser. And once you're a baby tier weekly bosser and you're around like 15k stat, then you can start pushing to 235. And once you're at 235, you wanna transition to 
So I'll show you. I'll switch so you have like a visual. So like 220, yeah, you're at that checkpoint. You could chill out. Uh, you know, obviously don't burn yourself out. And um, keep working on your gear until you're at least like a baby weekly bosser at 220. And then once you're at um, once you're at 235. Come on, game load. All right, so once you're at um, 235, let's get to Asphara. You've unlocked Asphara, and you have all of your symbols, right? And uh, don't, don't mind this, I just, I'll, I'll upgrade them another point. Um, yeah, so once you're 235, this is the point where um, you're starting to become a good weekly boss. You know, you have all your rings, you have your uh, four set superior. Um, well, this this is still like a little bit work in progress, but it's mostly there. Um, yeah, so 235 is the next checkpoint. Um, you know, if you're lucky, you got your cane weapon and you want to start working on your equips. You want to two line everything, 16 and, you know, going for 17 star and everything um get your uh any amount of main stat on your flames and then you can honestly call it here like 560 arcane force that's enough but you know i want to push more because um plan to get this character to 250 at some point so you know you could honestly stop here like 540 af at least uh two line on all your equips and uh you can call it so like this character's 18.9k it's a little low i'm not wearing another pendant if i was that'd be higher um and when i tried transition to uh, superiors it would also go up and yeah i'd be around like 22k or something so honestly you could call it there um and at this point you want to just start pu slowly pumping nodes into your character as well and you'll be a good weekly bosser and you could chill out here for a while. This is like a decent spot to stop. You're 235 and you could just call it here and your weekly bosser is done. And if you want to push further and you want to transition transition to a cracked weekly bosser, like uh, let's say my Night Lord, for example. Come on, game. Okay. So, yeah, you're transitioning to a cracked weekly buster if you want. Um, this is the point where, uh, you know, you have at least 960 arcane force. Um, I plan to do more. But you could stop here. Uh, to try to train to 250. You're going to be at least 30k stat. You'll have more than enough damage to train to 250. Uh, all your items are pretty much done. They're all, um, you know, mostly three line. All 17 stars and whatnot. Uh, you have your arcane weapon. And yeah, at this point, you just, you know, you do your weeklies every week. And you slowly train to 250. And once you're 250, you could call it there. And that uh, weekly buster is complete. And you start working on the next one. And uh, yeah. Um, I know this is a long video. Ton of information. Uh, I probably missed something uh, throughout. But uh, yeah. I hope it helped. If you have any questions, uh, drop a comment down below. And uh, yeah, definitely invest in weekly bossers. Whether you're a baby or a good weekly bosser or a cracked out one, they're all they're all very good. And everybody should invest in them because it's the future. And you'll get a ton of mesos that way. Kish is going to be deleted soon. And weekly bossing crystals are, get, are going up. So... Yeah, definitely work on that, but don't get too burned out. That's what you got to keep in mind. Don't get burned out. Do what you can. The most efficient way to play this game is doing what you are most motivated to do, not what you should do. So, yeah. Good luck. And uh, peace out.